Listen, you had a very unique upbringing. If I'm not mistaken, you grew up, your, your dad was in the military. You kind of traveled. Mm-hmm. You were in Europe at, at peaks. So talk about that. What was that? You know, what was that like? Like, you know, traveling, especially over yeah. in Europe. Yeah, man. I didn't have the the most traditional upbringing for sure. <laughs> and uh-huh. and the, the military was, you know, a lot of people have their different perspectives on the military. But for my pops, it was a, a way out from his humble beginnings. You know, he they didn't grow up with much. Both of my parents didn't grow up with a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and joining the military was a, was a way for my dad to go on that adventure into the world and, and to improve his lifestyle. And he did just that. And he worked hard, still a hard worker. And they worked so hard to get us to a comfortable level, comfortable living. As, as mm-hmm. a family, as kids, you know, we never had to bag for anything you know and if, if there's anything that we were missing we didn't know we were missing because of that love and, and because of that sacrifice and hard work that they did to try to give us the best life suitable so my dad being in the military it gave us natural opportunities to travel the world you know and just pros and cons but i got to move around like every two or three years but i got to meet so many people in the world i got to get exposed to so many different cultures and i think that made me more open-minded as a human and, and that was a, a blessing within itself, a benefit. And I even that I get to use in my acting career as an artist because there's not a lot of roles that I can't relate to because I, man, I done lived in projects. I done lived in trailer parks. I done lived in suburbs, inner cities, foreign countries. Like there's so many different environments that I grew up in. And I think they all play a part into who I became. Wow, that's amazing. I'm grateful, man, that you were able to take those experiences and, and learn what you need to learn in those experiences because mm-hmm. not everybody would have took the road you took. I'm just being honest. Some people yeah. would have rebelled against their parents or, you know, thought, you know, they wanted better or did other things that were probably, you know, not beneficial uh, to them doing. So I'm glad you were able to, you know, travel the world. So what was that like? Talk to us a little bit more about, like, culture-wise, when you talk, talk about the different cultures, did yeah. you have you picked up different, do you speak different languages or is English your only language? Uh, English is my main language, but right. I would say I'm conversational in German. Um, okay. That we can get around enough to hold a conversation. You've seen countries like Spain and Netherlands and Italy and, and, and Germany and, and France at a young age and being exposed to seeing that the world is not just centered, you know, around America and, and that there right. is other ways that people live and other cultures and other things that people value. And, and it just gives you more of open eyes, but I can't deny the the blessing. I mean, I didn't get to always grow up around like a friend from kindergarten, you know, or right. constantly around my, my cousins, but I've, I've been blessed to meet so many people because I traveled so much and I'm, I love traveling now. I still love to, engulf myself in different cultures because I think the more people get exposed to these other cultures, the more they can relate to people and, and the more open-minded they are, you know, and the less mm-hmm. hatred they have as a, as a person because they realize that it's not just them in the world. And, and this world has a lot of different, a lot of different colors on the palette. <laughs> No, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I'm glad you brought up that hatred mm-hmm. word. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to ask definitely, and I'll move past it after this. Did did you experience any form of like racism or how was that growing up with, you know, was your family received, you know, on these different bases or wherever you were staying while you guys were traveling? Or did you guys kind of come up against some of that scrutiny at times? Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. You know how it is. Like, it, mm-hmm. It's just but, but that, that's a that's a different that's a different way though because you in Europe compared to America that's why I'm asking like yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, but listen I've never been to Europe I don't know how it is that's why I'm asking oh, yeah. <laughs> well well, well to, to, to let you know man this, this melanin is, is is received the same way around the world for the most part and, okay. and there's different ways of countries expressing this racism and hatred and I'm not saying you know of course everybody's not like that you can't look at one person who hates you in the country and think that you could stereotype the whole country that way. But racism exists all around the world. And unfortunately, people look at somebody with with this melanin, this brown skin, and they and they want to lower that person to try to feel better about themselves because they don't want to be at the bottom. And unfortunately, that's how the world is. But it made my family strong. It made me strong. It made me a more fierce person and courageous person growing up. There's not a lot that I fear in this world. And I'm not saying fear is, is a problem. Sometimes fear is good. You can't be brave without fear. First, mm-hmm. you know? And But having those experiences growing up now 
I can go out into the world and there's not a lot of things that I'm afraid to to face. But I will say there's there's a lot of, I don't know what the best word, but toneless countries when it comes to racism. They don't always realize our ignorance level, a certain level of ignorance, because they don't always realize that the community requires certain things, even when it comes down to just, you know, hygiene and products. Mm. You know, there's, there's things that a certain race may need for their hair that a country may not offer because, you know, they predominantly, they primarily cater to themselves. So just seeing that, but the world, world has, is slowly changing. We still have a, a ways to go, but can't deny the progress. I hope the world continues to open up. I admire the younger generations that are coming up. I feel like they become more open-minded and, you know, hopefully it's a better place for our kids and our grandkids. Absolutely.